Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to make custom cars. One of you guys asked me how to do this on Discord, uh, link in the description if you want to join. <laughs> and yeah, here's a custom car. You see I have this drive button, so I click it and boom, I'm in the car. I can drift or whatever drive, yeah. And when I exit the car, the car disappear and I can uh, re-enter the car again. So. This one's gonna be hard tutorial. Let's get into UFN and verse and do this. Okay, so I'm in UFN now, and first things we need to do is create a verse file. So add new verse file to project and name it custom car system or whatever you want. System, okay. Hit create and open. Okay. Delete some useless comments and create a custom car data in the class of concrete so we can add edit table and start with adding the devices. So edit table button to enter button device oh, button device button device so this is the button that we use to enter the car to see like the drive one and now edit table oh. teleport prop so you probably saw in this video that we were not in the same position uh, where we hit the drive button we get teleported to the other position so we get teleported for, to this teleport prop so that's why we need it now Edit table and car vvx. It's the oh wait, why so here? Visual effect power up device. Okay, and we need another vvx, but now the empty one. So this is with our car model, and this is just to take off the car model. So we need to put this car vvx to a player. So. The model of the car we attach will be attached to the player, so it will create that illusion or something that we have this custom car. Okay, and next is car spawner, which is the vehicle uh, spawner nitro. Okay, and why nitro? Why nitro drifter? And not, for example, like this. Uh, I don't remember the name. Uh, this oh I don't remember wait let me let me see like we don't want uh, adding for example wait uh, this sports car because it will change to the player custom like for example he bought a McLaren from a shop and it will change to this McLaren and our custom model will depend on what uh, the player have like different cards have different rotation and orientation like the player seat and our custom car will just not work properly so that's why we have this and we need the on begin function here then return for now and next function is on button button click with parameter engine agent void equals okay return for now and async on button clicked okay we can just copy this and we need to add suspense here so this is the async function and we need on car exit also with agent okay and we can start with one button click. We need to just basically spawn this function. Pass the agent. Okay. In the next function, we need to disable the button to enter so any other player or I don't know can enter this time. Tar car. So disable. Also the car spawner. We need to enable it so car actually spawn. Next thing we need the uh, Fort Harter. So agent get Fort Harter. 
Also, as you see, I have this auto import <laughs> extension. So, if you want it also, just go to the extension in Visual Studio Code and download the verse auto imports. It will automatically import um, any library you need. So, that's cool extension to have. Okay, next we need to teleport our Fortnite character. So, the player that clicked the button. Uh, teleport. Oh, wait. Teleport to. I need to teleport it to our, our teleport prop. So, teleport prop. Get transform and translation. Translation. And with this. And to also the rotation of teleport prop. Rotation. Okay. And next. Oh. We can add brackets here. So next we need teleport location and get the Fortnite character Fortnite character transform and the location. Okay. And we need to set teleport location let's see this equals 50 and to this location we will teleport our car <coughs> so car spawner that teleport to teleport rotation and identity rotation okay so we have our player and car spawner uh, in the place where it needs to be and here we need to add slip to 0 0.1 second and car x pick up so agent will have this car on himself and next things we need to car spawner and assign driver so we put the ag agent the player that interact with this button to the car so he actually driving this car Okay, and in on car exit, we need to pick up the empty VVX for the agent. <coughs> okay, and we need to enable our button so player can enter the vehicle again. <coughs> and car spawner, we need to destroy the vehicle. And also we need to disable it. Okay, so car not actually spawning anymore. And we need to also add the on begin. So we need to add subscribe to interact with event. Oh wait, I will just go here and copy this. Subscribe. Oh man day days in day day <laughs> this day today <laughs> is not a good day yeah and also in the car spawner and I don't remember agent exit agent exits why I don't get the syntax I don't know it's pretty weird but okay let's copy this Add subscribe to on car exit okay and here we need the <coughs> edit table to custom class data so we need to do array from it so basically we can have multiple cars in our map not just one and on the green we need to do a for loop through all our cars in the map and run the on begin function no okay and that's it in verse route pretty simple next thing we need to configure the UFN so we need to have three folders oh I forgot to remove them okay I will remove them and we will do it again no problem okay I can save the 
custom car. I did it from Sketchfab, so you have three models here. You can go and just scrap your model, your car, what you want. Okay, so create the blueprint, like the blueprint folder, and uh, hit right click mouse. And here you have blueprint class, click it, and select the building prop. Name it BP Invisible Prop. Okay, open it. And yeah, just add the sphere here at like 0.1 so we will see where, where this teleporter is. And just click on the PP invisible prop on this left and search for hidden in game. After hidden in game. <laughs> so we will see it in UFN, but player will not see it in actual game. Okay, so we will spawn this car somewhere here. We want the button device. Maybe somewhere here, okay. Button to enter car. Interaction time, one minute. Interaction text drive or whatever you want. And we need to visible the game set it to false and interaction radius to two. And also you can manipulate with this radius, it's not you don't need to set it to two. Just up to you. I will set it to you, to two. Um, okay, so next we want to have VVX, VVX power up. So this will be the car one, and this will be the empty one. Select these two VVX, we just click on this, hold control on your keyboard, left control, and select the other one. Infinite effort duration to true, respawn true, but to uh, per, per zero seconds. Visual effort to custom effect. Also, we can disable the ambient audio. Custom effort. We don't we don't uh, create that yet. So for now, we will leave it at the same at empty. <coughs> and okay, now hit only for empty power up and set to true disable effect on pickup okay save your project and okay once you import the custom car you can drag it on the map and and also you need to uh, take your custom car and uh, set it to rotation zero 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 and if this car facing this red arrow, you see this red arrow, if his mask, like the front one, is in this front, front red arrow, is good. But for example, if this is your zero zero zero, when this red arrow is here, is wrong. You need to change that. So basically, just change it to make make front like to this red arrow, like facing the red arrow, and hit the change the selection mode to the modeling mode select the X form and once you set this to be front set a uh, click bait transform and click accept and now you just yeah change the rotation now zero 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 is to this red arrow <coughs> no okay and just place it here for the visual look and now we need to create the VVX so go to our VVX folder and create near our system and the search for single looping particle hit create name it VVX car or whatever you want it's up to you okay and now once we in first car and so yeah we need to here and we need to add here on the particle spawn click this plus and add in initial mesh orientation here and set it to none and in particle update we need to remove solve forces and velocity 
it also in render into remove sprite rendered and change it to mesh rendered and in meshes just change this mesh to your custom car mesh okay and here we need to set click on this orange thing and local space click to true calculate bounce mode to dynamic lifecycle mode to self uh, and loop duration mode to infinite okay and drop down okay okay sprite size mode to unset mesh scale mode to uniform and this is basically your mesh mode so you can manipulate as you see drag my car and i can manipulate scale of my car like this far forwards so that's cool and also here kill part rule when lifetime has elapsed click to false and loop particle lifetime set it to true okay and that's all in our fafa words can close it and okay now we need the device with nitro car place it somewhere somewhere here <coughs> and okay visible the game we need to disable that this is like the base under the car so we don't want this space to be visible and other settings like file fuel consumption you can set it as you wa uh, want we need to set only the enable during phase to none enable respawn to true respawn to one okay leave it as default leave it as default okay and that's it as we need i can enable the boost also okay and also you need to make sure to go to your forwards place it on the map you need to make sure your forwards cover all these car so you need to go back to the forwards and change our scale to two to our custom car cover all this car inside Okay, I will leave it at as two. And we need to go back to our Fafa words. Covers per up car. And here on custom effect, we need to select the this Fafa words that we created. And now we can drag our first device. Add the custom car data. Button to enter now uh, our button. Teleport prop, our invisible prop, car for forwards, empty for forwards, and car spawner. Okay, and that's it in setup. Now we can launch the session and test it out. Okay, guys, so I mean Fortnite now. We go to our car, we have this button drive, I click it, and boom, I'm in car. So, yeah, everything works fine. And I think that's all in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If yes, leave a like and subscribe. And also, if you want a whole code from this video, join my Discord, go on this tutorial channel, and you will find it. So, yeah, that's all. And see you guys in the next one.